Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video and today I'm going to show you how you can draw this chocolate ice cream kind of thing with only markers. As always, I'm starting off with a very light sketch and even though this isn't a realistic drawing, but still it has lots of details in them. So I'm including every single detail that I can see in my reference image in my initial sketch itself. I'm using my Dutch cool markers today and using the color swatch card, I picked a few colors that I needed but in the end, I used way more than that. Now I'm starting with a very light layer and as I told you in my numerous videos before that you cannot erase markers and you cannot layer light colors on top of darker ones. So it's always better to start from a light layer and then slowly and gradually build more darker layers later. All the materials that are used in this particular video will be linked in the description box down below. So if you want to know more about them, you can go check that out. And I needed some more colors as well, so I'm using these Ohoku Skin Tone Marker set. And I had to do that because this color from the Touch Cool set is completely dry. Hmm, let's move on. Since I have a very detailed sketch already in place, I don't have to worry about where the colors are going to be because I've marked every single detail in there. So this step is kind of like filling in the colors in a children's coloring book. Since we are not aiming for realism, right now you don't have to worry about blending all these markers together. You simply have to lay down the colors and that's it. If suppose you want to layer some other color, or if suppose you want to change the hue of certain area, then you can do that because you can always layer markers and that's what we are going to use for all our shadows. If you layer the same color on top, then you're going to get a darker shade or a darker tone of the same color. And that's the advantage of using alcohol markers. If you're going to try to draw anything impressionistic other than realism, if you want to try to add your own flair to your drawings, then you need to understand this basic concept. With realism, your focus will be on getting a very nice even shading and a very smooth blending. But with impressionism, it's kind of like the opposite. With impressionism, you don't have to worry about even blending or smooth transition between colors. All you have to worry about is the contrast that your drawing has. And that is exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm not focusing on blending the markers. I'm not focusing on getting an even shading. All I'm focusing on is the contrast that this drawing has. And also I'm focusing on the tiny little details. And that is because even though I'm not going after realism, I want to mimic my reference image. I want my drawing to look as close to my reference as possible, even though it's not realistic. The coolest thing about drawing impressionistic or artistic, whatever it is, is that you don't have to follow your reference completely. But having a reference is an absolute must for this kind of drawing in my point of view. And that is because you cannot imagine every single thing and you cannot know when to break the rules when you don't know what the rules are, right? So you need a reference, but it's only going to guide you along the process of drawing. With markers, you cannot just complete a drawing with just one single layer. You need to keep adding much more color on top of each other, exactly like color pencils. That's my crazy neighborhood. Now back to our video. As you can see, my focus is not on blending all the different colors together. I'm simply focusing on layering. Just by doing that, I'm adding much more depth into the drawing and it is giving that illusion of 3D but in an impressionistic style. Now I'm going to show you a very cool tip. I want that brown color to be a little bit darker so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this blue color and I'm going to layer it on top of that and it's going to make it one shade darker. You see that? It's quite darker now, isn't it? And that is happening because the color blue is kind of the opposite to the brownish color in the color wheel. So whenever you mix two opposite colors, it's going to mute the other color. And that is the lesson on color wheel for you so you can thank me for that in the comment section. Moving on, for the Oreos, I'm actually layering the same color on top in certain areas and that area is darker than the rest of it. But if you keep doing it again and again, then you're going to run out of the ink on the marker and also you're going to damage the paper. So if you want an even darker color, then go for a darker color. Also, keep in mind to add the shadows that you can see in your reference image because even though we are not going to draw something super hyper realistic, but you still want all the elements of realism in your drawings as well. So you cannot miss out on the shadows. And now I'm going to add a very thin outline, but this is going to be a broken outline. It's not a complete outline. I'm not going to cover every single thing. There will be some space between my outline. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to add some spots here and there just because I like it and then I'll move on to a white gel pen. 
Now with this white gel pen, I'm going to add all the highlights that I can see in my reference image and also I'm going to add in all the tiny little details that I can see in my reference image. I really find this kind of drawing style to be much more fun because I'm breaking all the rules of realism here. But the one thing that I understood is that the better I got with realism, the better I got with impressionism as well. And I think that's because I understood the anatomy of the subject that I'm drawing. Do you remember in the beginning of this video, I told you that I'll be using much more colors later on and this is exactly how much I ended up using and I'll leave the names of every single one of them in the description box down below so feel free to check that out and I hope you liked today's video and that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye everybody!